The Singapore Airlines International Cup is next. This is a 10 furlong group one. And at the top we've got Johan Vermeer for Leon van Rensburg. Relco for Craig Beckwith. Thunder Thor for Craig Allen. Vidono for Darren Thompson. World Class David Hooley. Awaken at Dawn, Craig Allen. Dakar Girl, Dan Hughes. Light My Fire, David Robertson. Pebbles, James Shea. And Sierra Success for Leon van Rensburg. So, ten of them then. On the turf for this one. All installed and ready to go. And away they go. And the Sierra success was out quickly. We're going to try and get to the rail and lead. Looks like it might be Johan Vermeer that's going to get across there to be the early leader there. Pebbles is also interested in getting across, but hasn't quite managed to put enough space between herself and the ones on the inside yet. And it's Johan Vermeer who's won the race to the fence and lead. So Johan Vermeer is in the lead then from Stablemate Sierra Success in second. Relco on the inside is third. Then comes Awaken at Dawn and Pebbles after that. Vidono is next looking towards the back. Dakar Girl is just the early back marker. going to try and get up the inside it would seem. But Johan Vermeer is clearing the lead, passing the seven pole. Three lengths back in second is Relco. Then Vidono with the White sleeves and the maroon jacket is next. After that one is the the leader stable companion Sierra Success, Thunder Thor, and uh, Waken at Dawn. The two Craig Allen horses are in wide on the track. Pebbles just obscured by them. Tucked in behind them, Light My Fire. Back to our uh, world class in the purple and Dakar Girl in the blue. But it's Johan Vermeer then who now passes the five furlong pole with a lead of about three lengths, two and a half maybe. To Vidono in second. Awaken at Dawn up the centre of the track. He's third. Coming through nicely. Light My Fire. Pebbles is nicely placed as well. Relco's looking for room up the inside. One that's lost its place and dropped back is Sierra Success. The two at the back. Dakar Girl and world class are coming very wide on the track as they begin the swing towards home then now with just three furlongs left to go and Johan Vermeer has been in the lead all the way still leads by two lengths to Relco is now going to clear run in second Bebbles is third then Light My Fire and Vidono awaken at dawn he's trying to get into it Sierra Success he's trying to get up the inside as well Johan Vermeer in the lead though but just coming back to them a little bit as Pebbles starts to close Vidono's getting closer as well but it's still Johan Vermeer as they come down towards the final furlong but now Johan Vermeer is swamped Pebbles comes through so too does Relco now Vidono is the big challenger and Vidono takes it up it's Vidono in the lead, here comes Sierra Success flashing up the inside, and Vidono stopped riding on it, and he's been caught on the line Vidono's jockey stopped riding Sierra Success, got a dream ride up the inside and stole it on the line and Vidono thought he'd got the race won and the jockey definitely eased up on that one, and Sierra Success just swept past him to take it so Sierra Success for Leon van Rensburg was the winner. Vidono for Darren Thompson second. Johan Vermeer, the long-time leader for Leon van Rensburg, didn't quite get home in third. Relco was fourth for Craig Beckwith and world-class for David Hooley was fifth. So Vidono's jockey might be called Great Rex, but he wasn't really very really great at all there, was he? And I would expect that Darren Thompson is pretty miffed about that.